Ladies and gentlemen, a Marine friend of mine once told me that if you find yourself in a fair fight, your tactics suck. So let's talk about some Marine tactics. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the United States Marine Corps Military Operations on Urbanized Terrain. It's a 348 page manual of exactly what the Marines do on the battlefield. And you can just download this on Google anytime you want. Because whether you know what the Marines are doing or not, they're gonna fucking do it anyway. I'm absolutely convinced that they let you download this to give the enemy a false sense of confidence. Because they are smarter than they would like you to believe. If you don't know, you actually have to have a higher ASVAB score to be a Marine than you do a soldier in the Army. If you don't know, ASVAB is basically like the military-grade IQ test. Now, the reason I show you the Marine Bible is because I'd like to read you my favorite verse. This is page A23, section 18, and I quote, Combat built-up areas require extensive use of hand grenades. A Marine should throw a grenade before entering rooms or negotiating stairways, mouse holes, and so on. Section D, Marines should throw grenades into openings before entering buildings. Okay, let me put that into perspective. Most conventional forces will throw in a flashbang grenade, or if they're super cool, a quackbang grenade, to stun or disorient the enemy. Marines are just like, ah, fuck it, frag grenade. Why would I disorient you when I could just kill you? If you don't know a frag grenade is short for fragmentation, these are the grenades you see in the movie that blow up and fucking kill everything. Apparently, Marines use them extensively. No wonder they like the Mark 19. Like, I need you guys to understand how ridiculous this is. Do you imagine being a bad guy that's been training to take on the U.S. military? And you know that most forces throw in a flashbang grenade. There you are, sitting there, you know they're coming through that door. You see a grenade get thrown in, so you close your eyes. Knowing full well that as soon as you hear the boom, you just start firing at the door because they're going to be coming through. But then you hear the boom, and you open your eyes, and... <gasps> the fuck? Oh, they must have been Marines. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you just wake up dead. The game was over before it started. There's no reset buttons on that shit, that's why they call it the forever box. Fuck around with the Marines, you might get put in it with a snow shovel, who knows. Here's the point I'm trying to get across. Marines fight fucking dirty. And it's beautiful. They believe that if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Playing fair is dumb. They're there to win as fast as possible. And the worst part is, is even when it is a fair fight, they're probably still gonna outclass you. I went paintballing with that same Marine friend of mine. Since me and him were the only ones with military experience, it was two versus eight. So naturally we got surrounded immediately. Hey Jeff, uh, we're surrounded, bud. Ha! Those poor bastards. That is like the perfect attitude to represent the Marines. They don't care about the circumstances. Their plans of winning remain the same at all times. In conclusion, if you're in the market for a swift and extensive ass whooping, call up the United States Marine Corps. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my content and maybe like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link for that right here in my bio. If you're not watching this on TikTok, try checking the video description. That is also the link where you can find my t-shirts and hoodies for sale. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quack bang out.